Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Shonen Cast video. Today we will be ranking the Naruto villains. Just the main ones, so not all of them. We already did an Akatsuki ranking. Check that out if you need to. And yeah, uh, I'm joined by Havin. Let's get right into it. Yeah, and starting with number one, we got Zabuza, Nathan. How do you feel about Zabuza? I like Zabuza. Uh, he's a really strong first villain, I think, for his series. At least first main villain. Yeah. And uh, I'd probably put him in the A tier yeah. to B tier. He could be high B, um, but I feel like A is suitable. I like his like backstory that we get and uh, his development and the fights and stuff. Yeah, I definitely agree. I think Zabuza was a really great start to a first arc in terms of having a great villain. He plays the role beautifully, and you also see that his uh, that he had like this facade, like this like like poker face of him like not caring, but in reality he really did care, even though you know what happened with Haku wasn't the best outcome. And you thought you know a, a rogue ninja wouldn't really care about someone like that, but he really did at the end of the day. Yeah. All right. Next, Gara. I think Gara is pretty good, but what about you, Evan? No, I think Gara is like pretty great, especially the way you see him when you first see him in the tuning exams. Just Gara's backstory, Gara himself, character design. I honestly think Gara is like amazing. I'd I'd throw him at the S. Yeah, I would agree. I think he's a very good. He's a really strong antagonist for the tuning exams, and uh, I think he's he's very like his development. Um, yeah. And then him becoming like good in the end is good, but like his backstory is like crazy that like shocked me the first time oh, yeah. i watched and he was so sick as well in the tuning exams just the way he uses yeah. his sand as well yeah all right orochimaru for me orochimaru is someone that could have been s but was kind of missed potential in many ways i honestly will put him like below zabuza and a or high b i i just feel like his end is kind of abrupt although i like it it's just like i felt like he didn't do as much as he as some of the other ones yeah i i definitely agree with you i think in og naruto he played a great role and he was very mysterious and we thought we'd see more of him but in reality we just saw more of sasuke and then kabuto ended up absorbing him i feel like he was great like he's still great he'd be high b low a by i'd put him at the end of a like literally the end of a. yeah I'd give, I'd him honestly, I'd give him like an eight yeah. like solid eight i'd honestly put him b like top yeah. of b okay, top b is fair all right, Itachi. For me, this is S. I think he's like, as soon as his introduction happens, he's just, he's as good as it gets in Nar terms of Naruto's writing as an antagonist who has so much of a role throughout the story. Um, he's just like his his parallel to Sasuke, or like not parallel, but just relationship with Sasuke and even Naruto a little bit is amazing. And the battle and stuff and the stuff you find out, like his motivations are so interesting. Yeah, 100%. It's just, we don't need to talk much about Itachi. Itachi's nah, him, he's, design. He's that good. Everything. We already talked about him in the yeah. game, so that's enough. All right, next on the list, we got Pain. Pain's a personal favorite for a lot of people. I think Pain is amazing, crazy backstory, crazy, crazy Nagato, everything with Jiraiya and what happened in the third Ninja War and how they became like the cycle of hatred he talks about. I think honestly he sits at the S tier. I know for sure Nathan agrees. With Absolutely, him. yeah, yeah. Nothing, nothing more needs to be said. Cycle of hatred speech is enough. He's fantastic. Yeah. All right, Donzo. This is a stinky one. Donzo is just, just stupid. Like yeah. it's just I don't know, just like, a stupid, stupid character who has a cool fight. But other than that, I think Donzo definitely a little rough. I feel like. There was mystery behind him and how he controls the Ambu was pretty sick. I kind of like that part of him. but then, And also the part where like he stole all the eyes and stuff. But yeah. I feel like there's a little too many plot holes with Donzo when it comes to the story. Especially how he was always about protecting the ninja elite. Like, yeah, the, the stuff ninja like elite, that. But he never really ended up protecting them. And I, I just I don't think he was that amazing. But I'd still throw him at the B. I think he's fair to put him at a B. I, I'll accept B. I'd definitely put him below Orochimaru, though. Yeah, I don't oh, yeah, think yeah, he's actually. Yeah. Um, Kurama, I'd honestly throw him at the B as well. I think he's like he's not as much as of an antagonist like these other guys, but he's he's good and like his his slow relationship to come to like terms with Naruto and stuff is good. But he's not a huge antagonistic force. Yeah, you wrapped it perfectly. Like he was basically just there for Naruto. 
he wasn't like sorry not there for Naruto as in like he was always there for him but he was there as an in inside of him and he wasn't really a crazy antagonist but he did play a role in always you know betraying Naruto here and there or leaking out his chakra to force Naruto to use it so he can go rogue and stuff but yeah B, B is fair for Kuruma yeah right, Kabuto I'd honestly throw Kabuto at the B as well throw Kabuto at I the think B. he's like I okay I like Kabuto's backstory a lot but as an antagonist, he kind of sucks. Okay, that's fair. I think so. He's like, yeah, I honestly favorite. think you could throw him at C as an antagonist. To be fair, now that I think about it, like, because really? he's not very good. Other than like, he just brings back like all the ninja. So he's not really like intimidating or anything. Uh, I get. I don't know. I think I think C would be a little rough. I was about to say he's a little I think underrated. B, yeah. I think B. Because I, I think a think... lot of people really downplay his character, but I wouldn't put him anything past B for sure. No, I just I like his character a lot. It's just like he doesn't have as much as some of the other ones. But oh, yeah, yeah for I, sure. C like, is. I thought you honestly didn't like him. I don't want to throw him C. Maybe, uh, maybe uh, if you want to throw him C, you can. No, no. B is B is definitely B is where fair. I would put him. Okay. I just thought you you didn't like him. Yeah. No, no. I th I think he's a little more on, on the more underrated side, especially since Naruto has such great villains. Like he's definitely overshadowed by a lot of the great ones, but. I think I think yeah. a B to high C is fair. All right, Obito, definitely S. But I don't know. At the same time, I have issues. I'd still I'd still put a mess. We both have two different opinions on Obito. Obviously, I love the guy. He's one of my favorite characters in Naruto. I think there's just a lot of depth to his character. I think there's just so much to him that uh, Kishimoto did fantastically. I think he's definitely one of the best main villains that we got in the show for sure. But I honestly, I don't understand the hate that some people give towards him. I think he has a little bit of a weak motivation, but I don't know. He's still fantastic. I, I can't really put him anywhere below us because I just don't think he's on that low level. I honestly would be happy to move Gara to A because I don't know if he's ass compared really? to these others. I mean, I mean is it because I are you know. looking at them and you're thinking like these guys were a lot more menacing than Gara? Is that why? But Gara has a lot less role of an antagonist. Like, I, like I feel like they're way more important. Like and have way more. I mean, like, he did try to destroy you. Konoha with his. I guess yeah. I don't well, know. I think we'll put him at A. We'll put him at A. I put him at. You need to put him above Zabuza. Would you like to put him above Zabuza? How do you feel? I mean, I'd say he's better than Zabuza still. Okay, we I mean we had him in S. All right, Madara. He's sick. He's enough. It's he's ass. I don't know. There's nothing. There's nothing to say. Unfortunately, like, I, I don't know. His end is really bad because of the next two. But, like, he still has. My favorite character in Naruto of all time. Madara's insane. Amazing, like, uh, like, introduction to his character. Amazing character design. I love him and Hashirama. I love the whole, man, like, how he raised Obito a little bit, too. But he used him at the same time. I think Madara's fantastic. I don't want to sit here and rant about him forever. But, yeah, easily S tier. Madara's insane. Yeah, I, I don't think I've seen many villains that are as actually like just feel like they could just destroy everything yeah. the way mother can like there's not many that are that intimidating like when he just brings the meteors down like that's that's like yeah it's just it's big all right d tier do we need to say more we don't even have to talk about black zetsu he's just bad kagi i pro c yeah C because she's sure. a bit better um yeah and then sasuke I mean, yeah, do we need to say more about Kaguya? Yeah, I was going to say, like, uh, actually, no, it's fine, yeah, yeah. No, 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 you can say it. No, because I was going to say, like, Kaguya definitely a C. She does play the role of villain well, but aside from that, there's really nothing more to her character, right? Like, there was really nothing crazy. And if anything, it was just a gateway for Boruto. That was a real, I feel like that's just the real reason they really threw her in. Like, it definitely should have been moderate then, but, yeah, C tier for Kaguya for sure. Yeah. Uh, Sasuke, I would not throw him S as a villain. I put him A. Because he's not like he's not a villain to like at least Naruto no, that much until like the very end. Like he's antagonistic, but he's not like I can't yeah. put him on the other. To the other party, villages right? and stuff, yeah. yeah, for sure, yeah, including the league. Like, like yeah, he's Kage the most Summit. villainous in like Five Kage Summit, yeah, um, for sure, and like, but then he sort of has a redemption pretty quickly, so yeah. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching. This is our ranking of Naruto villains that we, you know, we obviously handpicked here. We threw them together. We just wanted to rank them for you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you enjoyed, make sure you slap a like. Comment down below if you agree with our list. And, yeah, do you agree with this list so far, Nathan? Yeah, I think it's good. I think this is fair.
Naruto definitely has some really good ones and then some stinkers. Yeah, that's for sure. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Take care. See ya.